All right, I'm going to show you the basic installation of the MariahDB database server. First, you need to install the server software. So you can do a yum install MariahDB. Uh, MariahDB is actually the client and not the server. So MariahDB-server is the server. So you install both these packages. and all our dependencies get installed as well. The MariahDB server is actually a drop-in replacement for the MySQL server. And so a lot of the commands will appear to be the same. So first we're gonna start this server. Start MariahDB. And after we have the server running, uh, we might want it to start automatically on boot time, so we just modify this thing right here. There we go. All right, and we enable the MariahDB server, so it will start automatically on boot time next time we start. So immediately at this point, we could jump directly into the Maya, MariahDB server by typing in MySQL, and that will take us in as root. Now that doesn't seem very secure, so we might want to change the password. So we'll exit out. And we're gonna change the password with the, the, uh, the MySQL admin command. So I'm in user bin MySQL admin. And we pass it, we're gonna tell it we're doing it for the root user. And we're gonna set the password. To the super crazy secret password of Aloha123. All right, so now the password has been changed to Aloha123. If I try logging in again with MySQL, it says access denied, so I need to pass it the password. So do a minus P option to tell it I'm passing a password in. And it will prompt me for the password, and I type in Aloha. One, two, three. So that's good. Now we're in the database and we want, we're in the database service server, and we want to create a database. So we have to create a database for every thing that needs its own database. So I'm going to create database. Um, and maybe I want to create some database for something like um, machines. or maybe inventory, let's do inventory. So I create the database. Now, if I want to use the database, I have to use it. Use database <coughs> inventory. Database, oh, just use inventory, oops. All right, so now I'm in inventory and you can see at the bottom, my prompt has changed from none because I was in no database to inventory, not inventory, inventory. And then at this point, we want to create tables. So if I want to see what tables I have, I can type in show tables. And I can see I have no tables. So I need to create table uh, machines. That'd be good. Open with a open parenthesis. And then I started telling it what kind of things I have. So maybe I have some kind of machine. ID, and that might be some integer, primary, key, and maybe it has a name of the machine, or maybe a description, and that might be a var char 250. Anyway, at some point, I get done, and I close this, and it creates the row. So now I can then show the tables. I can see I have a table. I do describe or add my table name, and I can see what is in the table. It has a machine ID and description. If I want to insert something, I do insert into uh, machines, uh, let's do values, and I pass it the number one, and the description for this machine might be my Linux uh, 
that's the problem. So I create the table, I added a line. Now I can look at all the lines in there. I can do select star from uh, machines. And I can see that I have all that data in there. At this point, I am done creating a table and showing you how to update the table. Now I'm going to exit out of the database and I'm going to show you how to dump the database so you can get a complete listing. You can do a MySQL dump and the database name. So this one is um, inventory. If I run that, it will say there's an error because I forgot to put the password in there, so minus, minus P. The proper password is low uh, 123. And it prints out all this data. You can see in here there's SQL stuff, and this stuff right here, if I piped it into a file or redirected it into a file, I could have my inventory.sql backup database. Proper password. Now I can look at the inventory.sql file and see all the information. So if I wanted to, I could just reload this directly back up into the database and be ready to go. So that is basically starting up a MySQL server and creating a table and showing you how to insert stuff into it.